Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So this review is about MIT Mangalore, which is Mangalore Institute of Technology and Engineering, right? So good news is that this college is an autonomous college and provides a very good option with respect to placements, campus and the edu educational facilities, right? So this is also a NAC A plus institute, right? So that's quite uh, good for the college. And uh, it from the ARIA ranking perspective, it was uh, rated under band excellent by government of India. So this college is part of Mangalore and uh, Dakshin Kannada district and, uh, and the place is called Mudbidri where this college is located. So this college is uh, quite excellent again, infrastructure and it's a 74 acres campus located in Dakshin Kannada district and a very beautiful ca campus which I'm going to give a short a campus tour so that you are aware of the uh, 74 acres big facility and uh, so this is some of the picture of the college so quite a good open space in the hilly terrain right and uh, which provides for uh, like a good administrative block picture you can see here this is one of the pictures from auditorium and the computer lab laboratory facilities the incubation center in the college and you have the computer facilities library infrastructure library sitting space and the traditional classrooms and these are part of in a students interaction center food court this is one of the night view of the college and uh, this is about the hostel facilities so they provide good blocks in the hilly area and uh, these are those photos and these are room pictures for boys hostel canteens and playgrounds are there also sufficient for basketball for badminton court and all of the cricket net practice as well as gymnasium is provided for the boys and girls right and they do have a lot of uh, good award nights like you see Neha Kakkad in one of the events here right so good celebrities come and uh, there is also good college festival which happens in like Sentia and this is one of the pictures from that event so overall very, very good campus life and uh, they do have a very good interaction with industry so they have tie up with uh, various companies like UiPath, KPIT, Salesforce, Siemens this is right and through this center of excellence on campus there is a good amount of an exposure to it and the non-it related you know academics is given right and this is one also they have a memorandum of you know agreement or with the different universities globally so this one is from times of india you can see they have renewed tied up with binghamton university which is based out of new york so similar now coming to the courses, they do offer good amount of courses. So you see all courses segregated by NBA like civil, computer science, engineering. Then you see artificial intelligence and machine learning courses also there. And within the specialization, you get CSC with IoT, cyber security, blockchain technology. You can also get CSC with AIML and information science, which is also accredited. EC is also available and that's accredited by NBA mechanical and then you also find mechatronics which is a specialization branch now coming to the placement so good number of companies visit here and uh, you can see the names here like ibm infosys volvo pipro kpmg ey but i will not go through the list you can read through i will showcase basically more on the placements which have happened last year right so 21 lakhs is the highest salary you can see here 21 lakhs is the highest salary and 745 plus offers were there and 135 students have got the salary in the range of 8 to 12 lakhs. So 8 to 12 lakhs is a quite good bracket. And within that 135 students have got the packages, which shows that it's a good placement which happened. And this year also it, good placements have happened. So 21 lakhs remains the highest salary. And apart from that, there are other good salaries like, you know, say 12 lakhs with the company which is federal bank good amount of multinationals are visiting like for example unisys they, they have taken couple of students from ec and the package is decent like 8.22 lakhs and then there are mass recruiter indian companies which take around 20 to 30 students each company so for example the one which you are showing is emphasis and you saw 10 student in the previous sheet and here also you see 10 more students and all from all different branches csc isc ec and others right and these are other type of multinational companies pwc which again allows most of the branch like up to EC and um, those are the good placements. Mechanical companies are also there but IT companies also allow mechanical and sales forces one such company. Now I'll also give the 
placements which have shown in the part of the national institute of ranking from nrf placement document and there you will see three year snapshot you can see here like in 20 passing batch there were 620 students 627 students who were eligible and out of which 474 students got quite decent close to 500 students and salary was 3.36 lakhs next year in 21 passing batch again 634 students were eligible and out of 569 students so more than 550 to 600 students get placed with the median salary of 4.1 lakhs and in 22 passing batch again the placement was quite good with 505 students which were eligible out of which 474 got placed and the median salary also decently increased to 4.5 lakhs so expect minimum median salary in this 23 passing batch to be around 5 lakhs so that's a quite good option and if you are not getting Sayadri or the next one is basically St. Joseph then you can go, go for this MIT in Mangalore region right and it's a good option takes admission through KCT and Comet K both modes of admission so that's all I have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar important placements and the other updates on all colleges in Karnataka take care bye